Alright, that's fine. Again, I don't know how close I am to finishing this, but I've had a lot of thoughts since the last time I played, and I think I have an idea of what I need to do. Um, it's going to be really funny if the ideas I have actually play out, because one of the things this game does is it's really good at um, being one step ahead of you. So you think you're sort of onto a solution and then it twists and it's like, actually, it's this. And you, you get there, but you're like, I never would have thought of that unless I followed the path that they laid out for you. Um, there's been very few moments where I've been able to be one step ahead of this game. And I think that's just a testament to how well designed um, a lot of it actually is. My glasses are blurry. Hang on. But I have uh, one clue from the chat from last session that I'm going to follow because I was at a bit of a loss. So we are going to go back to... I forget what it's called, but it's like the swamp. But I hope it's not stuttering again on the stream like it was last time. Um... I'm doing the DLC, yes, yes, I absolutely am. Um, I finished the main game. Um, DLC is what I've been doing for the past few streams. It has been... Shit, I didn't select the stranger in the, um... Nav map, the ship log. So... Where does he show up? There he is. Mark location on HUD, there we go. That's a cool- I've never seen that graphic of the stranger before, but that's kind of cool. Um, let's go, and... Target, no, left stick, won't let me do it. F. Left stick. And, let's go. You're kind of finding it without the map. I, I, no, I still have trouble doing it. I need to mark it and autopilot it, um, because... Like, it's literally invisible, right? Like, it's, it's... <laughs> You can fly um, past it pretty easily, and I don't trust my ability to mouse over it with just like looking around on the view. Jesus! I just I hit. What the fuck did I hit then? Oh my god! Okay, that's never happened before. I've hit like the actual structure. Um, it's cool. It's cool. No big deal. No big deal. Boom. Okay. Happy landing. Let's go. Um, it has been a few days since I played- it's been like a week since I played it last, so I forget exactly how to get into the swamp area. I think it is the first house. Um, and I'll try and talk through my ideas of what I think you can do as I do it. Oh, I've got to push you and then jump on you, don't I? Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Okay. Please. Okay, good start. Um, this guy here, that house there, I think is the one that I need to go to to get to the first swamp area. So we're actually just going to go out and get the artifact from here. Oh, get out, get out of the boat, get out of the boat. But you need to jetpack everywhere to actually accomplish stuff. Um, the reason I think I'm close to finishing this is I don't know how many more layers of depth they can possibly hide in this DLC. Like, it's been, it's gone so far beyond what I thought it actually would um, already. Can I fit through here? Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. So one of the mechanics that I thought about, and it's really interesting because this DLC uses all of the mechanics in different ways. Like every single little mechanic is the solution to some kind of a puzzle. And I realized that you can actually put the artifact back down um, and pick it up again. And that is a mechanic that I have not had to use yet. 
So I don't know if it's going to actually result in something, but in one of the areas there was this like stage that looked like it was for um, performances. Um, so I feel like, oh, thank you very much for the sub campy. I appreciate it. Oh, was that even the right door? No, it wasn't. Um, I feel like that's it. it was the second second picture. There's this stage that looks like it was like a bunch of seats for a performance or a band or something. And I kind of want to um, put the artifact down there once it's lit. This is what I mean about it using every mechanic though, like using the doze off mechanic here to actually then enter this. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, I think something's gone wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did... Is it just popping in the detail? Is that what's happening? Okay, I think we're fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. There's meant to be a bunch of those weird bird dudes there as well, but, um... All good. So... This is the swamp area. Yeah, cool. So I was told that I need to explore more. They patched some stuff last week. Okay, cool. Um, I can't imagine it's going to be significant changes, but if you notice something that has been patched, let me know because that's interesting. So I need to get over there. I saw in the distance there was a bird dude over there. I don't know how to get over there yet. Um, but I was told that I need to go across this bridge here and explore this area more. So that's what we're going to do. Um, there's also a uh, mechanic where you light the candles by focusing there. So I think maybe I just need to find every candle. Oh, I just lit some. You can light them from actually quite far away. That's cool. Uh, more candles there, more candles there. That structure there, I don't, I'm not sure I've actually been there yet. Oh, that was some can- I think I just saw some candles. I've already lit them, haven't I? Yeah. I find it really hard to retain um, a internal compass in this area because it all looks quite similar. Um, found drawing a map helped a lot. Yes, exactly. I was just about to say that. Like it, You need to kind of plot out what just the boundaries of this area is. And I was saying to chat before, there's another like physical um, island over there. Oh, that actually might just be the back of that house that I have been to before. Maybe that's nothing. Um, but this landmass I'm on, I have been told, has something that I need to discover. So we're going to rigorously plot this. Okay, control is rumbling. I rigorously plot this out. That thing you mentioned about dropping the artifact, it's worth doing more. Okay, yeah. If I see some, um... If I see some significant locations, because when you drop it, it, like, projects that light in a particular radius, right? So I'm thinking you've got to line it up with something. Oh. Is this... That looks walkable like a ramp, but it's just a big route, so that's fine. Ah, oh, but that is another level up there, so... And that looks like a structure. Thing is, I don't have the jetpack, so I can't get up there easily. Wow, I've really just like... Oh! Oh, I think this is... I think I just completely missed this is new. Okay. Okay, well, there's some clearly some buildings over there. Um, oh, okay, there's one of these things up there. I need to get up there and blow into it or something. Um, that's cool. 
Right, because doing that usually summons like a bridge or a boat or something, right? Like, or it can make, um... One of them actually made an entire building appear. So, we know that those are like puzzle solutions. Okay, cool. Uh, enjoy your dinner. Drop back in if you find the time. Okay, cool. We found a staircase. Good, 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 good. Now. I think lighting the candles doesn't literally do anything. It's just to help you find your way. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, I'm now worried because I feel like I'm about to go and encounter the bird things. And I've never physically seen them yet. So I don't know what kind of weird... Mechanics are gonna ha- oh, I think that's one over there. Do you see that light? Oh shit, that's literally Yeah, okay Well, I can close this and I guess like that helps me be stealthy uh, <laughs> No I can see why you want to extinguish that now. Yeah How freaky is that sound? Just got the notification, perfect timing. Yeah, we've literally only just started and I've just reached a part that I haven't been to yet. So you're right on time. Oh my God. How was everyone's New Year's by the way? Um, shit, do I need to? Okay, I just saw another green light there. I don't know if you can see it on stream because it's quite compressed or whatever, but like, it's like two pixels worth of green light. Cool, we got a, um, a hand hook shot thingamajig, so... Oh! I didn't actually mean to do that, but it's good to know that we can travel around like that, cool. Um... I wonder if it wants me to go in the house or if it wants me to follow these hook shots. Especially with new dog and worry about fireworks. That's completely fair, yeah. Oh. Wait, what is that? Is that house where I came out at the. S hang on, hang on. Fuck, I think it is. I think that's the jetty where I can spawn the... Oh, it is! I know where I am. I also know that there is... a... Birdman over there. So we maybe want to go in that direction. That through the whole thing? <laughs> okay. It's good to be sure. Um, I don't think I'm meant to be under here because I'm clipping through the geo, but that's fine. All right, let's, let's go back over here. I'm very conscious of how time limited you are in these areas because, um... Oh! The water from the uh, dam breaking pulls you out if it hits the building that you're in because you're linked by that flame. But that flame extinguishing will literally just pull you out of the world. I don't like this at all. Also jumping in the water will extinguish like your flame here and then pull you out that way too. Have I been over there? Yeah, that's the thing that I went up to before. So we want to keep exploring this bit. But we also want to not do it too quickly because otherwise... Big scary thing will appear. Okay, there he is. I'm just gonna... Yeah, okay, there was a big controller rumble there. I think that might have been the dam breaking. And I might be about to get sucked out. I can hear rum... Whoa! Whoa, ho okay, holy shit. Um...
We gotta talk about what just happened. That was freaky. Uh, where am I? Here I am. I need to- I need to catch that boat. I need to catch that boat. It is stuck on the roof. Oh, you're at a bad angle, huh? Okay, I, um, am I gonna go in that tower? Shit, where does that tower go? Or do I want to go to the, um, the mountain area thing? Sound docking's not working as expected. The game audio goes down after you're done talking. Yeah, okay. It's, um... I do have the sound docking a little bit aggressive. I actually don't know exactly what the milliseconds you're meant to change on, like, attack time and stuff are. So if someone knows a good actual setting for the, um, audio filter... Let me know, and I can really quickly and easily change it to that. So, the guy with the lantern, as it flooded, turned into a um, turquoise skeleton and appeared to die. Which makes sense to me, because if you look at these guys, they're all linked by flames here too. So when the water comes and floods this area, it extinguishes their flames, and actually is going to make them leave the world in the same way that happens to you, right? But because they're dead here, I think that means they actually just finally die. So... We have a very short amount of time to spend in this section because the water is coming. Um... But I need to just try and remember... what the other thing I was going to do here is. Oh, okay, this is this section. Um, there's one puzzle here that I don't know the solution to, and I can pretty quickly get to it. So I might need to ask for a hint when I get to it, but there's a boat here that only goes in two directions. Um, and I couldn't figure out what it wanted me to do on that boat. Take me hand. Thank you. You don't think you have one in your field of view for the flood during your playthrough? Oh, interesting! So that you've never seen that before. Okay. Um... I think that is just another cool instance of, like, logically discovering a mechanic through play, right? And, like, actually being... Um... Fuck, have I gone the wrong way? Like, actually learning through experience. I think I have, I think I've gone one step too far. No, this is wrong. This usually lets you loop around. Oh, what the fuck have I done? This is, uh, I don't think I've been here before. Oh, look, there's a dude up there. Can you see him moving? Okay, did not know there was a dude up there. That's, uh, good. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. There we go. Yes, that's what you have to do. I forgot. That's also a mechanic. Um, so if we go downstairs... I'm trying to get to the boat as quick as I can before the flood happens, so that we can figure this out. I think it's through here. No, maybe not. Oh, 
I believe this is a dead end because of that security machine. Oh, but I can go this this way. Yeah, but as soon as I step into that light, it's going to see me. So that's a no-go. Um, you know what? I think the boat that I needed to get to was through that secret house that you summon. So I may have briefly... Uh, fuck this up and run out of time, but we can come back here on a different loop. Yeah, okay, there's no way I'm going to get through there, that's fine. One fifty one threshold, 60 to be... Okay, cool. Let me, when the loop happens, I'll try and input those uh, real quick. Go through here, just open that door. Do the thing here where you summon that house. Yes, because I think if you get through the back door of the building that you come into, then you get down to that weird boat area that I'm talking about. So... Oh no, this is for a different puzzle that I also did not know the solution to. Ah, uh, I think we may have run out of time. Yep. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so there is another puzzle in there where there's this room that's full of candles and I thought you had to extinguish them all to make something happen, but I did that and nothing happened. So I think there might be another step to it that I'm not immediately grokking yet. Um, that looks like an available boat there. Oh wow, the loop is ending already! Shit, okay. That's so much less time than I thought you had. We just sail away while it all explodes. Pretty sure those candles you need to extinguish weren't there on your playthrough. Anyone know if it's new? Are you kidding me? The candles to open the door? That must... That's like a key navigation thing. I can't imagine them not being there. Or maybe those doors were just always open. That little door up there. There's that other house. They were always open. Wow. Okay. All right. So they made that area harder maybe for some reason. Oh, you know what? I think they've added those because they need to try to clue you in to how this other puzzle that I'm talking about works. The one where I think you need to extinguish every candle. Because if you don't have to do that anywhere else, then why would you do it in this one room where it's required? Boom. Probably can't see the fireball from here because we're too low down, but uh, that's fine. So we found... We found... There it is. In the When I say house, I mean like the house that you go into the other world with the fire through. Um, we found in the first house a way to get around to the... Areas that actually have enemies in them. So we need to somehow get into that house they were patrolling around. Like that sort of stilted, raised wooden house thing. Um, in the second area, I need to check out that boat. And I also need to check out that room with the candles. And then the third area, which is the canyons and stuff. I'm actually still... I've barely explored it, so I don't fully know what to do there, but um, let me change my audio filters very quickly. Okay, noise gates. Um, 
I don't have a ratio here, so I'm not sure what that is. Attack time 50. Uh, release 225. Oh, okay. My hold time is on 300 milliseconds. I might drop that down to 100. I think that the hold time is what's doing it. Um, but let us know if that sounds better once you actually hear some noises come in. Um, my New Year's was good. It was just a small thing with some drinks with some friends. Kind of all that you can really manage at the moment. Uh, but I had a lot of- I had one of the best gins I've ever tasted and I need to find it again. Because it was actually amazing. I'm so glad the stranger is still marked. Okay, now... Okay. You know, do you about the bottle of name? Yes, I can tell you. I have- I took a photo of it because as drunk as I was, I still remembered to do that. Um... Let me find it. Called Artemis Gin, and the, the branch of it is called Goddess. Uh, it is by Australian Gin um, by Artemis Wines. Oh no, imported by. Oops, shit, I'm actually. I'm here. Um, in Belgium but imported by Artemis Wines in Australia or something. <gasps> so it seems like the kind of thing that is probably not very easily available in stores here. Um, what does it say? Unique Australian and traditional gin botanicals are vapor distilled through a column basket with triple distilled Shiraz to produce our goddess gin. That really doesn't tell you anything. Oh, okay, uh, bottled in Midagong. Cool. 70 bucks, that's... That's good, it's a 500 mil bottle, so 70 bucks for 500 mils does seem a bit primo, but that's... I would pay for that easily. Cool. Sounds still doing the same thing, okay. Can you hear the game at all, or is it just like, when I'm talking, it's cutting out way too much? Because I'm looking at the levels for the actual desktop audio, and it seems... Oh, I've got to push it. It seems fine to me. Um, but that's just based on a meter, not an actual experience. Um, I am going to... I really want to do this thing. Where I put it down on that... I put the artifact down on that stage, because I think it'd be kind of awesome if something happened just based on pure intuition. Um, I let my boat go. That was a really dumb idea. Shit. It seems like, because the mic has a lot of static. You know what? The mic is peaking. Uh, so that is one thing I can also fix. Very easily. I think that's no longer going in the red now. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, where can I acquire a boat easily? <laughs> oh, look, there's one. Um, yeah, the mic having static might also be because it is just a very, very cheap mic. Oh shit, I need to go to the right, I need to go to the right, I need to go to the right. Because we're going to the third place. And the third place is actually really hard to get to, from what I remember. Well, not hard to get to, but just annoying to get to if you miss the turn down here. God, this boat music is 
the best thing though. Cool, all right, we did it, we're fine. Look at that. Perfect landing. Ah, uh, where is the where is the fucking building? There it is. There there that's the lights there. Um I need the elevator. Hey, at any point do you get to read that text? Because I have no idea where you would find a translator. Two, three, four. Let's let's go for four. Oh, I'm right. Okay, so this is the canyon area. It's like a spoiler to answer about the text. Um, <laughs> no, don't worry about it. I'm just curious if like that is going to be a later puzzle because it's like I'm so far through these areas. That, uh, I can't see when that becomes relevant, you know. It's fine, you don't need to actually answer. Okay, so this area is weird, right, because you see that platform there? Like, you can't get to it. Oh, actually, there's some candles up there. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing there, so you loop around. Um, light those candles there, light those candles there. You see, I remember coming through here and I'm being like, oh, this is just a straight up dead end. Oh, no, I'm sorry, you do this thing, and then that bridge appears. So where is the, where is the stage that I was thinking of? Oh, uh, it must be actually just like further through across that bridge. Um, the first time I went through here, I was extremely freaked out because I assumed it was going to be full of those bird things, but I think it's actually just empty. I want to get there at some point. I actually don't remember a lot of this area, which is good because... Okay, here it is. This stage here. Like, if I just light all these up. <sighs> Clearly I want to get there. Like, two candles, two candles. So there's got to be another one of those invisible bridges somewhere. Um, I don't know. Oh, actually, that also looks significant. Like, these chairs looking out to this particular spot. There's got to be something significant about that. McLaren Vale Distillery Joint. Look, I love a good Negroni, so I'll have to try that out. If I just put this here, and so it's like, hey, look. You're all... You're all playing for the artifact. Um, oh, there's a candle there I missed. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that it? I think it's all of them late. I don't know. Um. <laughs> what? What? What the fuck? Wait. 
Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. What? Okay. Is going on? Is this the Matrix? This is like Matrix code falling down the wall, right? This is... Did anyone ever play Kingsfield? I watched Lance stream it, and like the last level of Kingsfield is in this VR world that looks like this, like... Okay, so that bridge exists. But does it... Oh no, there is like a whole other world here, huh? Oh no, okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Put it down. Um... Okay, so these things are weird, like, ghostly things that exist as well here, which means... I actually don't know what I extinguished just then, but that's fine. Um... Oh my god, there's so much I need to actually do now that is new. Oh, is this a door that only exists in the real world? Like VR, it's possible? I'm just gonna call it VR. Oh, this is the building I came up in. Oh. 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 Okay. Like sheet music placed vertically. Hey, you're not wrong about that. Like notations. Oh, okay, so I can just walk. Look at that, this is like a debug view. Right, because it shows what that elevator connects to. And it shows the debug path of the, um, the boat that goes across here. So when I originally found this area, I was like, okay, are these bird people transporting themselves back to their home planet? Because you looked up and you had the, um, the planet with the rings around it in the sky, right? Which in all of the, um, Viewmaster things that you look through, that is a significant landmark for, like, their home planet. So, um, I was like, okay, they have found a way to transport back. But now I'm thinking they got stuck in this solar system and were just, like, lonely about it. That they've just made this virtual recreation of their home for comfort, maybe? Um, and maybe they just got in there and spent too much time in there, which is why they all died and are like... Oh, is he a... Okay. Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, what was that achievement? Excuse me? Oof, ouch, my bones. Have your spine adjusted by a pursuer. Oh, I need to go back in there. I think that's the dam breaking again, that big rumble. So if I... I just drop this here. Like, this works anywhere, right? It's not... Wow. Tranquility Lane from Fallout 3. I don't remember exactly what that is, but is that like the paradise that that one vault was stuck in? Oh, can I not op- Fuck. Can I not operate this while- Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I see.
Does this bridge exist without me being in this VR land? I'm gonna turn your dad into a dog in. Jesus. Okay. Um... This kind of blows open every possible, like, puzzle solution I was thinking of. And I don't know what the actual ones are now. I gotta also just think about exactly where this bridge is before I do a leap of faith, right? Oh, okay, so it's right on the edge near that, uh, tree. <sighs> oh my god. That's very cool. Uh, I didn't think about the angle, so I'm just gonna wing it. I think the tree is the guiding marker there, so you just stay on the left of it. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, good. That was a very last crusade. Alright, so that summons a boat. Mmm. So I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea, and I'm going to pause it to explain my idea. Okay. So last stream, when I was on the boat, and I was going through these little um, shadowy areas, I was like, oh, this feels weird. This feels like a loading zone. Like, you kind of go in, everything fades out, and then you fade back into the new area. Like, it didn't feel like a normal transition. Um... And now I'm thinking, maybe it actually is a loading zone in the context of this world, because it's virtual or something. So... Ah, oh, fuck, but I can't get on the boat and, and steer it while the machine is away. While the artifact's away, right? You stop here. Oh, actually, mm, I probably could have, but that's fine. So now I'm like, do I drop it and then go through one of those? Because you look at this, like it's an uncommon fading down. See it like that? And then fading back up to the new area. Everything else in this game is such a smooth transition that that felt weird to me. Um, I think what I might do is, and I'm probably towards the end of this loop now, so we might not have the time for it, but I might drop the artifact here and then just take this boat ride and see what happens when I go through that loading zone. Or the cave. I don't even know if it is a loading zone. Oh my god, drop it. Oh my god, I missed it! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. When Lara edges through a crack here. Yeah. I'm gonna laugh if I had like a big brain moment, and that is actually what you need to do, and I just fucked it up by jumping wrong. But I'm so suspicious about everything in this game now. Oh, I like that this stays in the world state that you left it in, though. So let's summon the boat and then put the artifact down right away so that I'm not fucking around with it. 
That's closer, so it's going to be easier to get through just on the boat's, like, natural speed. Maybe it'll kill me. Maybe it'll kill me because I don't have the thing that's... Ooh. No, you must have to... I'm surely this is something you have to do because the... They wouldn't show you the boat lines. Without that being significant. Oh, there's a bunch of invisible bridges up there. Oh, also, I'm not holding it anymore, so can I just, like, fucking bail? Uh, um... What? What? Okay, I fell through the ground. I fell through the ground. Did I... I genuinely don't know if this is a glitch or not. Because these look like areas I've been to before, right? Okay, like there's a stream of light coming down from there. That, oh, does that, is that a familiar area? Fuck. Yes, this is the final area where the three locks are, right? So that's that's where the three locks are. That's the thing I couldn't get across because they're looking straight at you. So this is a boat that I actually can't control because I don't have my thing on me. So... Oh, I just summoned a bunch of platforms. Okay, 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 okay. Uh... Is this actually where you're meant to go? Oh, but if it is... Um... Hmm. Can I walk on this water or is it gonna actually be water? I think I've died. I think I've actually just died. Okay. Okay, we learnt something. <laughs> um. I get a view of the supernova here. I don't think I can. Okay. I can't believe that I was like, oh, the one criticism I have against this game is that these boat things look like a loading zone and the game's like, actually, no. It's a loading zone, like, diegetically. Fucker. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um... What? Now what do I do? Now do I go back? I'm trying to think of the best way to do this, right? Because... What I'm- what, again, what I'm finding out about this game that it does really well is... Especially for this DLC, it gives you all these little shortcuts to get exactly where you need to get to... In, in such short amount of time that you're like, I can't believe the solution was right there. And again, it's just about discovering the knowledge. To find those shortcuts, to then get an easy access to the next stage of the puzzle. Um, okay, we're going to rock it, but I have to go to the bathroom really quickly. So give me five minutes. I'm assuming time doesn't pause. Sorry, time doesn't pass when you pause. But we're going to go and find that weird area again and see what is actually there.
Okay, so I've thought whoops. I've thought more about what just happened there. And given the context of if this is a virtual world, um one of the things that happens in, in game development, and this can often be a bug that users can find, um, if you escape the world, one of the fail safes that you have is to just reset the player position to like zero, zero, zero. Um, and I think in the context of this game, the virtual world that you're in, if you escape it, by doing what I did, it's resetting your position to zero, 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 which in that virtual world is apparently the next place you have to go, right? Like it's the back part of whatever that final map is where the lock is. Um, so what I'm saying is this makes a lot of sense to me. Like it's kind of amazing that this is the thing that you need to do, if that, I'm, I'm probably making a massive leap there because I still don't really understand the full context of what it is. Oh, let's go. Anyone ever seen the all main Fallout game speed run with the cup diagram? What's the cup diagram? Also, to do this again, I'm going to take the time to get to that third house because it's the one that doesn't get affected by the dam breaking, right? Like, you can stay there the longest, even though it does take the longest amount of time to get there. The physical model the speedrunner made to explain one of their main glitches. Um, oh, oh, I forgot to get the artifact. Whoops. Um, can, actually, can someone tell me, because we might need to do this a few times, can someone tell me where an artifact is in that house on stilts area that I can find and not have to do this stop off at the start. That will just make things a little bit easier. If you're talking all main Fallout games, are you talking um, Fallout 1 and 2 as well? Or is it just like 3, New Vegas, 4, etc.? Because I imagine the speedruns will change drastically based on whether those two old ones are part of it. Other side of the river, opposite the building with the bonfire. Okay, cool. It might actually just be quicker getting the thing here. Because I have this uh, second boat, like, pretty easily available. I'm going to shut up so you can hear the boat music. This fucking game, I swear to god, are there any other, like, bombshells in this DLC? Because I can't handle stumbling upon another one. Like, they, they're too smart already, and they need to stop showing off. Like, this is, this is so much more than enough, right? Okay, um, in the theater of the High Up Village. Okay, cool. Right, the theater is in the place where the, um, film canister things are. Or the projector, rather. Green falls long cryogenic cutscene. The speedrun pulls an assemblage of plastic cups and cardboard out and breaks down the reason a 30 second time safe works. That's kind of amazing. Uh, one, two, three, four. This guy. 
your eyes even reminded me of it. Oh, interesting. Okay. I will have to check it out because I love speedruns and I love the ones that actually explain them as they're doing it in detail. Um, I learned a lot about pitfalls you can get into in game dev by watching speedruns and like glitches and understanding how those work and what you would need to do to avoid them. What am I doing here again? I'm going invisible bridge. Here's some candles, buddy. Thank you. You know what's going to happen is I'm going to be clumsy and fall off this somehow. Like, this is about time. Oh, Jesus, I hate... <laughs> I know I'm on it, but I also hate doing it. Like, just taking those first few steps off. I'm not even pushing the stick the whole way. <laughs> Interpersonal warrior within almost every Nazi years ago and try to forget how it tracks story progression. Oh, interesting, yeah. I imagine there must just be, like, certain flags when you reach certain areas, but that's also like a semi-open world sort of hub game thing, isn't it? Flat Anthology at AGDQ 2020 for reference. Now, okay, I have a question and you can tell me if this is right or not. Can I jump off this boat? while holding the artifact. Because it seems like I'm going to need the artifact when I get to this weird area. Um, I can understand why it wouldn't work, because this is just water, right? But like, maybe this is a special thing where water doesn't apply and it doesn't douse your flame. Oh yeah, past and present versions of the world. God, Warrior Within was such an interesting... Interesting and, like, ambitious, um, like, response to Sands of Time, right? Because Sands of Time is quite linear. And I get what they were trying to do with Warrior Within, but the fact that it was just, like, grungy and metal was not great. You can keep the artifact. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've obviously fucked myself now because I don't have it. Um, what is all this stuff? I've never seen any of this material. I also wonder if there are other ways to get in and out of the world. Um, what the fuck is that? This is some Fez looking shit in there. Look at that shader. Okay, all right, all right. I imagine I need to use my artifact to like extinguish that or something, and that's probably one of the locks. Maybe? Yeah, I imagine I can't see that because it's, we're in virtual land. Wait, so why do I even need to be virtual if If I can keep the artifact and jump in, why would I need to go into this virtual space? Like, the only thing that I've actually discovered is the invisible bridges. Oh, I'm hearing some... Oh, holy shit, it came down, it came down. Oh, you know what, but I can't go up. No, okay, all right. Um, I think that, oh, those are uh, film reels over there, aren't they? Fuck, there's a lot of them out there too. That's all film reels. And that's just a theater.
Okay, well, I clearly have to, like, die. And try this again. Does this mean... <laughs> So I haven't had to do any of the stealth bits yet, and I- the one thing I do know is, like, there is actual stealth. Um... Against those bird creatures, right? But I think I may have bypassed that. Which... I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I- I would like to see how they handle stealth mechanics, but I'm also very scared of them. So maybe that's good. Because there was that one- there was that one guy down at the bottom there who could still see me even though I was like in VR without my artifact. These, it, I do like how all these areas are connected as well. Like, I was like, I think these are three entirely separate things that I'm going to find individual clues about, but... Even when you go into this weird glitch space, like, that's connected to an area that you already visit. And it seemed like those elevators could take you up to those, um... three main areas too. Makes me wonder... In. Wow. Oh, so this is just like knee-high water. Okay, I get you, I get you. Um, let's go over to the theater area. I guess I can enter, like, virtual reality at any time that I want, because, you know, I can do that by just putting it down. Okay, so that is concealed. Maybe you do need to be in VR to actually, like, interact with it. Oh, we don't have a film thing in there yet. Oh! Yeah, okay, so there's no thing there. Fine. Um... I can't reach those, actually. I can only reach these ones. This one has a planet. So, uh, planet, eye of the universe, I exploded, and sent a signal over to their solar system. Oh! The energy from the eye is the green flames. And they put that energy into their face. I think I've seen this slide reel already. They were like, now we need to go over there, we need to cut everything down, and build a ship. Oh, Jesus, I haven't seen this. Boom. Okay, I think I saw a version of this that was like half burnt. Even access all those though. I don't think I can. Drop slide reel. Pick up slide reel. Drop slide reel. Pick up slide reel. Drop slide reel. Oh, planet got glitchy. Oh, okay. Here's the VR.
Dude, it totally is a loading zone. Look at that. That's a loading bar. <laughs> I can't believe how explicit that is. Wow. Okay. Whoop. Wait. Wait, is it saying the thing that I said before? Yeah, I think he is spawning at like world location 000 because he's like, oh, bye. Hang on. I already know how to do this though, so why is that telling me that down here? Is that telling me that down here because I get here by some other means? You now manually translate reticulating slimes or Rosetta Stones from here. I need to investigate this hole. Alright. I understand that's significant. I don't understand how to interact with it. I'm going to take this elevator up and see where it takes me though. I think those are, those are red herrings. I don't need to get those. If this takes me up to that security station where with the big sort of circular hole, it's going to blow my mind. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Fuck, that really scared me. Um... Where the fuck am I? Am I where all the bad guys are? Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I would know where I am. I know exactly where I am. I am at the area where I saw that Birdman die. And I think because I came in through the third building, the dam has already burst and potentially just wiped everyone out because their flames got extinguished, right? But I'm still fine because I'm in that high up building. Uh, and I'm never actually affected by the dam. Oh, hello, this is underground. Not too sure where this is taking me. Is this another invisible bridge? Oh god, I can't see anything. I've got to actually face it that way. I think I fell. No, I'm fine. That just wasn't far enough. Okay. No, it's not, but I can see a lot better. I think this just might be an alternative way into that building, which, which is going to be easier if there is all those bird dudes patrolling around, right? Like... I think I actually don't need to be here. Creepy antler people can have those picnic spots too. That's fair. Good for them.
Um, I need to find a boat and do the loading zone glitch. Like, travel. What is this? I think this is the original lookout tower thing where I saw the first bird per- oh no. Maybe not. Oh, that's so creepy. I think those are their beds. I think they actually like sleep standing up. Okay, so the boat is this way. Like that is the boat like direction. I just need to get back across the water. Uh, which I don't think is going to be easy to do from here, so I'm just going to extinguish myself. And go back in from this area. Do owls or deer sleep standing up? I think owls do, but they like tuck their head in, in that way. I imagine deer would sort of curl up. Okay, so... That weird glitchy thing on the wall... I understand I need to do something with that. Um, I don't want you to tell me what I need to do, but I want to know... Am I going to find that knowledge somewhere by exploring those areas down below? Like, after jumping off the boat? Because I feel like... I'm trying to think of other ways I have to interact with things, and I can't think of any. Um, but the result is just going to be me going to that area over and over again, because each time I go into one of those things, I obviously, like, get stuck there. So I don't want it to be too tedious, like that process. Ugh. Okay, so that is the one that I went to... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, these all look different from here. That's the one I went to first. Let's go to this big one here. Oh, I heard some screaming. That's not cool. Something you could tell you that would cut the team, but it wasn't included in your request. I guess what you'd say being careful. Okay. You know what? I you can tell me that. I'm I'm fine with you telling me that. Like I, that, I don't think there's I'm hearing the loop music now, actually. And look, there is a dude over there. Or possibly some kind of a light. Um Oh fuck, I didn't realize I wasn't meant to actually do that. That's fine, we're about to explode. Don't worry about the glitchy thing too much. Okay, alright, cool, that's fine. I'm going to continue exploring that area. Um, to try to find, I guess, more film reels that might tell me what to do next. That's a cool spot. I can't believe I made it. Rude.
Show me the explosion. Ow. Ow. Why did I go off at an angle there? Oh my god, of course, it's because this whole thing is rotating. And you've got like a basic Coriolis effect or whatever. Cool, that makes, that makes sense. So if we go into that area and check out, one thing I'm worried about is none of those other areas are going to be accessible from jumping off the boat. Because clearly that one that I went to that was surrounded by that little divot of water is meant to be gotten to from somewhere else. That's fine. I'm a little worried the other ones are going to be like that too, which if that is the case, I'm going to be back to not having an idea of what I need to do. Apart from going in the normal ways and like getting past all those bird people and stuff. But I think that, I think I don't need to actually do that. really 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 tight okay um if i don't make any significant advances in this loop i will leave it there as the last one for tonight I do feel like I'm close to finishing it. I don't know exactly how far away I am. For all I know, there is a whole, like, other 700th level of cool shit to discover, though, that is, like, another world within the world. <clears throat> so I'm leaving that possibility open. I'm going the wrong way. I do imagine there is some kind of trippy ending sequence, right? Because, like, the main game had that. After you did the, um... Single session run through... God, Dark Bramble and everything after getting the warp core. But I feel like I'm kind of doing those steps now. Like, I'm doing so many of those steps now. That suddenly having to do a whole other run of stuff... Would be out of place. I think that boat music is timed to your speed too, like it starts fading out um, if you slow down or hit a rock, kind of like the horse music in Zelda, which is really interesting.
Oh, well, take the artifact. Don't, don't go in without it. So how many bird dudes are in this area? One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh shit, that's a, like eight? That's a lot. Invisible bridge. Do any of these things make sense now that I know that this is a, a virtual world? Like, that thing, just spawning a boat whenever you need it, is... is <laughs> that's how a video game works, right? So much of it is also just like debug tools, you know, to make it easy for you. Okay. This place I haven't been to yet. That place I can't get to. That place I've done. And that's the main area. It's also really, really nicely framed, like in shadow and everything. It looks so cool. Cool oh, horse button. Yeah, exactly. It's a cool horse button. Ah, this is also doing it. That's fine. That's fine. They know. I'm gonna go to this main area then. Okay, so we know that summons weird platforms over there. Those things are looking at that bridge. Can I get behind them? Oh my god, if I can just come up behind them and bypass this whole thing, that would be amazing. I think it's not going to let me. Yeah. Yeah, you've got that water edge. No, I think it thought of what I wanted to do and won't let me do it. That's fine. Maybe I can use that boat to stealth over. Oh uh, no, but the boat only has two directions. Oh! One of the one of the things went out. Oh, 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 okay, oh. Oh, I've been fucking around. I didn't need to do anything there. Um. Oh, I understand. I understand. Ah, oh, shit, there's a lock. Am I meant- Hmm. Although, as we learnt, um, we can like do this. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. 
there. Mm. I'm going to need the code in order to, I guess, align that, that bridge, right? Although, I'm curious about whether those um, guardian machines will still see me if I'm in virtual space. So, if I put the artifact way over here. How's this going to work? Oh, yep. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> no, they don't like that. Okay. So, there's still a puzzle here. And the puzzle is... Find the code to, I guess, deactivate those things? Fuck, I thought I had nearly finished it. Um... And you're not going to let me steer this boat around, are you? Because you know that's what I want to do. Oof. Okay. Well, okay, hang on then. What is the point of jumping off the boat? Because... There's another code machine up there, which I'm going to guess summons that boat to you from that platform. Right? So... If you get here via the back way, there's, there's not really much point to doing that, because you still have to do the main thing. Which is find the codes for those other um, machines. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I very near- hold up. We try it? God. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I thought I was being smart. Okay. This might be a stupid question, but can I jump off the boat in a different loading zone and end up in a different place in that like last world thing cuz i'm actually thinking uh i'm running out of actual like process here to find the I don't I have no idea where those codes are going to be. Um, don't have the faintest clue. That's a bad sound. There was a dude there who like attacked me, didn't? Ooh. When I went here in like a virtual space. He came out of that door. Oh, you know what? I can probably go in there virtually. Drop this guy here. Oh. So here's the thing, here's the thing, when I push up against this wall, no jump sound. When I push up against this wall that has that painting on it, jump sound. It's almost like the character is slightly repositioning back because it's pushing me out of what is otherwise a doorway. Which makes me think I need to go through there.
But I'm actually unsure how to do that. Scary dude's in there, I know that for sure. So maybe I put this here. Oh, no, he's not. I must have been thinking of somewhere else. Okay, that's fine. What do I do there? What do I do here? These aren't things I can extinguish. Um... Trying to think if I've seen a solution for this before or not. Oh, I need to get over there and, and blow through that hole. do that from here. There was this weird like cave back door when I went through VR space here. Or was I, am I misremembering where that was? Definitely misremembering. Okay. Oh, you know what? Is this an invisible bridge? This this is this is a hundred percent invisible bridge right there. I just put the artifact a bit too close. Hold up. Hold up. The way those platforms are designed. No. It's still overlapping a bit. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got this. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask for a clue as to what to do next. Um, I know what my actual final goal is. I need to get those codes. I have never seen another code machine thing um, in this DLC, apart from the one that's near the dam, right? But in one of the earliest streams, when I first got to that last area, I tried that code again and it didn't work. So unless I misentered it, and it is the same code that you get from the dam, um, I can't imagine it would be. I am at a, I'm stumped for what to do next. Um, I could keep going through the main areas and, and sneak past those uh, Birdmen and stuff. That haven't seen any progress from before an hour ago, you can say for sure. Well, I clearly, there's clearly those three code wheels, and I need three codes. I need to find where those things are. Um, there's a bunch of other areas I could go to and put the artifact down. Hidden log is not quite as useful, but you still recommend it. Okay. Yeah, I might do that on the next run through. Um, we'll play out the rest of this loop and just see where I can get to. I'm thinking other areas along the boat path and doing weird virtual world shit is what I need to be doing. Oh, there's also, I probably can't get to it now because the, um, that was collapsed. 
But there's that tower with all the candles in it that need to be extinguished. Probably something I need to do there. No idea how much time left on this loop is. It's probably a couple of minutes at best. I might not get anywhere. This code wheel that you saw way back when you were playing the first time near an eye symbol on the Halo world. Yes, I remember that. Um, I remember that and I got the code and the code was for a different, a building that was right there though. Like, because I have used that code on a building in the, the Halo world already, my assumption is it can't be used again. You're saying it's repeatable. That's a different story. This weird place. That one in the Eye Temple, though. Do you mean the Burnt Out Eye Temple? Because... Uh, I don't think that I have found one in the Burnt Out Eye Temple. There's the Burnt Out Eye Temple in the Halo world, and the Burnt Out Eye Temple... in this virtual world here. Um... I temple be sure that I got it. Yeah. Yeah, I think what happened there in the Halo world, that code wheel opened a door to a um, film canister thing, right? Thought there'd be something else here while in VR. I think this guy, maybe we need to watch this again. I don't think that really adds any more um, understanding for me. Okay, I'm going to call it here, and I am going to... There's a few different things I can investigate. I'm not super confident on any of them. But thank you very much for watching, and thank you for the hints. I feel like we made some fucking massive discoveries in this one. Um, and I'm like, I can see... I can see the end condition. I can see what I need to do. There's just a few steps that I'm... I've maybe skipped too far ahead and haven't done things in order, which is why there's some blanks that still need to be filled. Um, but I might do this again in be under a week or so. Seriously, it's way too good at this game. Good isn't the word for it. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky. Uh, and I'm very glad that we had those, those weird, weird moments to find. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll be back again at some point.